Hello, it is Sunday, July 2nd, 2023. I'm Chris Bremo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solved. It's a Sunday puzzle today, which means a large grid, a large themed grid with a title about two feet. We'll have to see what that means. Perhaps something that conflates units of measurement and bodily appendages, I suppose. I don't know. We'll have to see. In any case, this entitled edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Emma Smith, Noah Bizanson, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are bringing us this series every day and sustaining this channel. And for that, I'm incredibly appreciative. So thank you so much to them. Um, it, it, uh, it really is an enormous help and I am extremely grateful. So thank you. And if you'd like to directly support the channel yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find the bonus videos such as this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, the last seven New York Times mini puzzles that were posted the other day, uh, on Friday that is. Uh, not my strongest time compared to the last few weeks, but uh, not too terrible, I suppose. In any case, that's up there for patrons. And thank you again if you are among that group. Uh, do also subscribe to the channel on YouTube, and you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server via a link in the description field. So uh, do investigate all of that. But now, let's solve today's crossword. This is, uh, as I said, a Sunday-themed puzzle entitled About Two Feet. It was constructed by Rebecca Goldstein and Raphael Musa, uh, each of whom has con, um, uh, constructed just a few crosswords for the New York Times. And it was uh, edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what's in store for us today in about two feet. Band with the 2021 number hit, number one hit, Butter, I do not know. Uh, is there a reason, though? But why, you might ask. Oh, maybe it's BTS. Maybe it's the Korean pop pop band, boy band sort of group. Informal farewell. See you. We've got these, just realized, we've got these sort of shaded uh, two by four rectangles. I don't see any reference to them in the clues, which isn't a big surprise. We'll just have to figure out what they what they mean. I don't know if CU is actually correct, by the way. It sounds a little, it sounds like an co odd combination of formality and informality. You'd think see ya, see you just sounds a little bit, it's not formal enough to be formal and not informal enough to be informal. Anyway, Abraham Accords County, uh, sorry, country, sorry, sorry. Uh, UAE, the United Arab Emirates. Um, does that help me with these? Its name derives from the Washoe for Lake. Oh, interesting. So that'll be, That'll be an a indigenous language of some sort. Um, I want it to be Tahoe, Lake Tahoe, which straddles California and Nevada. And I have been there several times. I'm wondering because that would explain Sia as well, which is looking more likely now. Because Tahoe is not long enough to fit here, but if we doubled the H, we could spell Tahoe. And if we doubled the E in Sia, we could spell the more sort of appropriately informal version of that. And then, yes, actually, I think this is correct. I think this is how the theme works. Because Georgetown Athlete is the whole, I do, I do remember this somehow, I, to, probably from the crossword, to be honest with you. But Georgetown Hoyas, I do, I do recognize that. I don't remember what it means, but but I recognize it. And if you, lo yes, and if you long for something, you yearned for it, something or somebody. Okay, great. So it looks like these are doubled up. So in other words, this first bit, these first two cells will only represent one letter in the down answer. AirPods, e.g., are earbuds. Earbuds, about two feet. Oh, to, uh, uh, sorry. Well, the reason I, I reread that is because I thought, ah, ear, that's a body part. Ear and feet are body parts. But I'm glad it, I drew my own attention to this because I think that was completely irrelevant. But it was good to look back at this because the heel is a is much more proximate body part. In fact, you could say it's part of the foot. So two feet, heel, heel. Right, there we go. So maybe, no, I was going to say maybe we'll have ankle and things like that, but we won't because we don't have any five-letter long um, five cell long little shaded areas. But but anyway, 
So what, maybe toes perhaps, or sole maybe, the sole of your foot? Um, what other four letter parts of the foot might there be? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. In that 1980 film that led to the creation of the Academy Award for Best Makeup. Wow, I'm shocked that that didn't exist any earlier than that. Was it The Elephant Man um, by David Lynch? Um, an early David Lynch film. Was it his second after Eraserhead? I think Mel Brooks might have, the great um, comic actor and director, Mel Brooks might have seen Eraserhead and I think he might have had the option to the story about is it Joseph Merrick, known as the Elephant Man, and and contacted and, and offered it to David Lynch to direct. I think that might be the case. Um, I'm sorry if I'm getting any details of that wrong. It may well be, but I believe that's that something like that is is, is the case. Anyway, G in the C scale. Um, well, G in the C scale is the tonic. Oh, in solfege, it's soul. It's okay. So in the scale of C, G is the, is the fifth note. And you actually don't really need to know much about music to figure that out. Because if you just count C, D, E, F, G, you can see G is actually, um, if you started simply listing letters alphabetically from C, G would be the fifth one. And do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do in the, in the solfege scale, sol is the fifth one. So there we go. You could sort of you could sort of figure that out, although um, it's easier if you just sort of know that already. Uh, let's see. Under 1%, say, skim milk, maybe? Um, uh, under 1% milk fat in the milk. And then hopping joint. Oh, your knee. Right. Okay. So maybe we just, I think what's going on here is, you know, earbuds, knee. I think it's probably the case that these constructors have nodded towards the theme with these additional body part answers, even though they're not officially part of the theme. Put your wallet away on me. Okay, I need to start solving this more quickly. I'm getting getting distracted and digressing throughout, but this is a, it's a big Sunday grid. I need to remember that. Devious sorts are imps, people who are sort of crafty. Conductor Zubin. Meta, um, famous conductor, I believe. I hope I'm remembering this name correctly. Uh, let's see. Could, could conduct something in the C scale. Mobile homes, Punnelly. Maybe this is wrong. I might be misremembering the name. Mobile homes, Punnelly. Wheel. I don't know actually what that pun is. I can't think. National organization that doesn't actually have an age requirement for membership, which I now know thanks to, um, well, this this wasn't specifically the detail cited the other day, but. Uh, someone mentioned in a comment in response to a clue about the AARP, it officially no longer stands for the American Association of Retired Persons, but obviously it does. <laughs> um, and uh, anyway, mobile homes, Punnelly, razor edges, are the letter R. Um, if you imagine the edges of the word razor, they are R's. So if we spell that out phonetically, we get A-R-S. I don't think I've seen clue this way before. Often you see something like a reference to R's gratia or something, you know, sort of um, R's meaning, meaning art. Um, asks to join signs up. It's, I keep thinking of that kind of thing, but it doesn't really fit. Asked, asked to join, um, and it doesn't fit the, the space anyway, so it's irrelevant. A couple of chips, say an ante, maybe in a gambling context, so a couple of chips tossed onto the into the ante there, or as the ante. Collegiate beaver mascot whose name is at school spelled backwards. Interesting. So the school begins with M, because uh, well, that's just what the clue says. Um, so what is it? Sam, Tim, oh, Tim, MIT. I didn't know that, but I, maybe that's the answer. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology perhaps has a beaver mascot named Tim. It would make sense that the beaver would be the mascot of MIT because beavers are essentially engineers as, as, as animals go. They build dams and uh, 
Massachusetts Institute of Technology is a famously um, uh, engineers have come come from there famously. Boy, that was a terrible sentence. Uh, what always has time on its hands? A watch, the literal hands of the watch. Tell time. Asks to join. Wants in. There you could say. He he wants in. He asks to join. A oh, wheel estate. Oh, it was meta. It was meta. Okay, I thought that was the, the conductor's name. Okay, there we go. And then um, meta Zubin. And then mobile homes Punnelly wheel estate. Okay, I wish I would have been able to jump straight to that, but I I, I didn't. <laughs> Had to get all the crosses. Okay, Hill who wrote Speaking Truth to Power. Anita Hill who was involved in uh, famous um, uh, testimony around. Uh, Supreme Court nomination in the early 1990s and um, uh, sort of sexual misconduct around her. I hope I'm remembering that correctly again. Um, Twitter username, uh, one's handle, and then Secretary of the Interior, Hayland O. D. D. Hayland, maybe? I certainly should know this name, but can't, can't think immediately. Designer Schiaparelli. This I'm not sure if I know. Chinese zodiac animal of 2023. Oh no. What is the... Is it the year of the... I don't know actually what the zodiac year is. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, the Chinese zodiac that is. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm just not sure offhand. Software engineer for short. A programmer, a coder, uh, for short. What is a software engineer for short? A CS, computer science, something? I, I don't know. Turns down. Like some winter roads. Slippy? I don't like that word, but I've seen it before. I don't actually know if it's the answer. I'm not confident in this. I'm just putting it in to see if I can get some crosses. Oil company with toy trucks. Oh, Esso maybe. Esso comes up in the New York Times crossword not infrequently. It's um derives from standard oil, and so it's the sort of a phonetic spelling out of the pronunciation of its abbreviation of its of its initials S O, and the the brand survives as S O. I think that might be the answer. I mean, I think I've seen SO toy trucks, but I'm not actually sure this is the answer. My first thought was Tonka, which is ridiculous because that's not an oil company. Um, let's see, minus. Hmm. Maybe I'm not confident about this anymore. Minus doesn't seem like it has an O there, does it? Oh, this isn't going well. Uh, coin toss spots once, once. What X could mark on a map? Something like a tree line, or there's, some, there's something like X's can mark some sort of, I don't remember exactly what it is, some sort of tree line thing on a kind of topographical map. Blank Negro, Amazon tributary, Rio, Rio Negro? Amazon tributary, I think that's the answer. Oh, pirate treasure pirate's booty on a map oh boot boot about two feet boot okay so you wear a boot on your foot is the maybe it wasn't parts of the foot maybe it's just things relating to i mean i guess you could you put a boot about your foot but a heel put a oh but maybe it means heel like heeled shoes you could say i'm wearing heels meaning I'm wearing high-heeled shoes. Okay, so maybe they're things that go about your feet, they go around your feet. That could be it. So it could be type of, types of shoes or other footwear. Okay, maybe that'll be it. Maybe that'll be it. To go down in flames is to fail. Ch Sherry of Hollywood, Sherry O'Terry is, a, is, a, is an actor and co comedian in Hollywood. Coin toss spots once, what is this? Uh, folk? I'm just not seeing that. Oh, this doesn't look right. Maybe fail is incorrect. Court count. Yeah, that, that, that must be wrong. This doesn't look right either. 
vegetable that can be slimy when cooked, okra can be. So to go down in flames is to tank. There we go. Court count nine. All right, there we go. Nine um, uh, justices on the Supreme Court, for instance. And then coin toss spots once are... What are they? I don't know. Uh, Sino Chaparelli. I just, uh, I don't know. Blank, that's something. Ain't that something? My first thought would, isn't that something? But then you see this contracted version of something to something, and it makes you think of the more casual phrase, ain't that something? Be right with you on my way on, on, don't forget this O is just one O, um, on, be right with you. Don't know why I can't see that. And then Chinese zodiac animal. How can I not think of what this animal is? It ends with B-I something. Oh, that is absolutely infuriating. I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Turns down. Chill place to stay. Olympia painter. Like some winter roads, right? Oh, toll booth. Coin toss. Oh, right. That's clever. Cool. Toll booth. So you would you'd flip a coin into the toll booth on a motorway to pay the toll to... Um, to, to be able to pass, to be able to use the, the road. So, um, y you know, you, you could imagine f literally tossing a coin into the, uh, into the collection bin or, 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 you know, the slot. Okay. Oh, Elsa. It must be Elsa Schiaparelli. Okay. I don't think I know the name, but that must be it. This does look like D, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, no. Maybe it's Deb. Deb. And then this is Rabbit with a, a nice three Bs there, despite one of them uh, not counting. So a rabbit, oh, and then, and then so what, this this was pointing to something the whole time. What is this one? Female 20 down, a doe, a, a, a doe is a female rabbit. Okay, boy, that, I can't believe that took me so long. Sorry about that. I should have, with that B, I should have gotten it immediately. Jazz genre for Charlie Parker, the great jazz musician, bebop, bebop jazz. And then wildlife spotted in Haleakala National Park, a, a nene, which is a, um, Hawaiian bird in Haleakala National Park in Hawaii. So for some for a tide, for instance, ebbs, it recedes. And certain side wagers informally are uh, something. Author of the Climate Book, 2022, Greta Thunberg. This looks very likely in terms of a, a name associated with um, sort of climate activism. Certain side wagers informally are cat in Spanish gato. There we go. Uh, airport across the bay from SFO is Oak, Oakland International Airport, which is in Oakland across the bay from San Francisco, indeed. Uh, well, actually, I guess this says from SFO, San Francisco International Airport, which is not technically in the city of San Francisco, but it's still on the other side of the bay from Oakland. All right. Uh, certain side wagers informally. Still don't know what that is. Pottery oven is a kiln. You fire a pottery in a kiln. Important part of a toddler's day is nap time, I suppose. An alien film franchise, for short. Men in Black. Oh, am I beat right? Okay. You read this and it looks like it's referring to the film franchise that began with the film Alien, but it's not. And there's a clue that it isn't because it's not italicized, which it should be if it were referring to the actual name of the film itself. But it's referring to a film franchise about extraterrestrials in general, which is MI, uh, Men in Black and for short, abbreviated MIB. Although this doesn't look right, does it? Oh, no, but it is because Peacock Seen on TV is the NBC logo. Okay, and here we have a clog. So indeed, our shaded areas represent pairs of footwear, so a pair of heels, a pair of boots, a pair of clogs, very good, that is working 
perfectly well, those th being things that go about your feet, about two feet, in which P or Q, but not both, is represented as P, V, Q. Oh, good. I don't know how to read this notation. It looks like logic, though. It's symbolic logic. Yeah, P or Q, but not both. Right, okay. So I guess the downward pointing sort of arrow symbol is or the upward is not, or sorry, the upward is, is and. This kind of right angle represents not. And then and this represents and. Yes, you're saying, so it is true that P or Q is true, and it is true that not P and Q is true. Right, okay. So that's how you would read that. I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that notation before. All right, Sullivan's opponent in a landmark free speech case abbreviation. Uh, New York Times, maybe? Could be New York City, New York State. Just New York Times came to mind first because it wasn't Sullivan, Margaret Sullivan? Sullivan was an editor-in-chief of the New York Times, maybe. That could have absolutely no relevance to this whatsoever. I don't actually know. Blank Missouri tribe. Utah Missouri tribe? Certain side wagers, no. Utes Missouri? I don't know. In a way. Okay. Maybe that was all wrong. Oh, Oto. Oto Missouri tribe. That sounds likely. So does that help with this? Certain side wagers informally. Oh, prop bets. Okay, I don't know the term, but it's got bets in it, and bets are wagers, so there we go. Stephen K. Blank, British stand-up comedian. Stephen K. Oh, I'm really not up on stand-up comedians particularly. Um, Stephen K. Amos, maybe? Garage brand. STP, so uh, that's a motor oil brand, so garage in the sense of, you know, automobile maintenance. Um, in a way, somewhat, sort of. In a way. Oh, wait a second. Of course, these are just one letter. So it could be sort of. Right. Okay, good. That's possible. What about this one? Actor Oliver. Don't know. There are probably multiple choices for that. Coast in a way. To soar? To coast in the air? Don't know. Not very confident. Pentathlon event. Epe? Uh, in four letters, I think fencing Epe is a, is a pentathlon event. Coast in a way. Sled? You could sled down a hill, coast down it. Blank Rosenkavalia. Uh, could be German. Could be a German article here. Would it be der or das or die? I don't know. It could be any of those. Uh, depending on whether it's a masculine, feminine, feminine or neuter noun. I don't know. My instincts around German are not good enough to infer based on what that word looks like, although I'm sure a German person would could easily. Coast in a way does an impression of apes. You ape somebody, you do an impression of them. Actor Oliver. I don't even know if this if Oliver is the surname or the given name. Um, okay, well, this isn't D anyway. It could be now it could be. De or, or, uh, oh no, actually, no, it couldn't be den because that would be a different case. So actually, yeah, it must be der Rosenkavalier. Okay. Uh, I wonder what this is. I'll have to look that up. Um, and then coast in a way, maybe it is sled. After all of her. I don't know. Can't think. Stop, oh, stop. I'm blushing. Right, I forgot about this. Stop. I'm blushing. And then we have our, our about two feet here. I don't know what these ones are. Pair of keeping flip-flops, but that's not obviously what it is because 
complaint. It just isn't. Uh, okay, so show excessive affection towards smother. Stop, I'm blushing. It probably ends with me. Petrol brand. Oh, maybe this is... Oh, that's funny. Maybe this one's Esso. So that would... If that's true, that would suggest oil company with toy trucks absolutely isn't. Hess. Hess. That I absolutely remember. I think I was thinking of Hess trucks when I said I remembered having seen toy trucks with Esso on them. I think what I actually saw, what I actually just remember encountering is Hess toy trucks. Okay. So a minus is less. There we go. Uh, like some winter roads are slushy. That's better than slippy, which is terrible. Broadway, e.g., is an avenue in New York City and I'm sure elsewhere. Software engineer for short. Chill place to stay. An ice hotel? That doesn't... Is that something? Olympia painter. Oh, is it Monet or Monet? Monet? I don't actually know which. Surely one of them. Turns down. Uh, think of, recall. I can't recall the answer to turns down, but this is Monet. Okay, so there we go. And turns down, software engineer for short. Chill place to say, it must be an ice hotel. What is that? Is that a hotel literally made out of ice? That's interesting. Turns down. What is the answer to this? Oh, dims. Turns down the lights. Dims the lights. Oh, a software engineer is a dev, a developer. Don't know why that didn't come to mind, but it didn't. Be right with you. On. Oh, in a sec? A oh, one sec, one sec. I was thinking boot can't possibly be wrong, uh, and it isn't. One sec, one second. I'll be be right with you. That of course is correct. Abounds teams. This crossword teams with answers. It abounds with them. Group of candidates is a slate in a, um, a you know some kind of democratic election, and then content contents of some streaks on cheeks could be mascara. Maybe you could have mascara streaked. Uh, unflagging is stoic or stolid or um, strong, not really appropriate. Paella seasoning. Um, poetic lament. Why do I not know what that is? Poetic lament is... Not a dirge, that's a song. Um, poetic lament. How can I not think what that is? Prompt is a cue. You give someone a cue. Oh, an elegy. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of. Poetic lament is an elegy for for the dead, for instance. Um, oh, is it salt in Spanish? Paella seasoning. It seems incredibly general. You know, for, because basically every day, every, every dish essentially in any cuisine is seasoned with salt, but, um, but maybe it is, maybe it's just using paella to indicate the Spanish language. That must be the case. So unflagging is staunch. You're a staunch supporter and unflagging supporter. I think that works. So salt, pa paella seasoning, called up, rang on the phone. My goodness, mercy me. It's sort of a quaint expression of surprise. Prox Proxima Centauri, e.g., is a star. It's a red dwarf, maybe. Uh, I certainly absolutely did not know that off the top of my head, but just with the R E D here and then the number of letters remaining, it looks like that might be what it is. Highfalutin, a oh, la di da, you could say. Oh, la di da, such a highfalutin person you perceive yourself to be. Uh, Ventimiglia of This Is Us. I don't know. I've not seen that. Uh, what about this recliner setting? So it, it might mean a recliner, meaning a, a, a seat, a, a chair that reclines. But is there another meaning here? I'm not sure. That guy's is his. Belongs to him. Give in. Feature that helps to avoid late penalties. Uh, 
and excavated, dug, you excavated a, an area you dug there. Um, OBGYN offering could be an IUD, an intra uh, uterine device. Um, and the, what is the feature that helps to avoid late penalties? It is an, an auto. Late penalties and auto. Why can I not think what this is? I have no idea. All right. What follows you on the internet? You being capitalized. YouTube. Right. Okay. So you being capitalized sort of suggests it could be a brand name or something. In this case, it is. A prefix with sphere or system, biosphere or bio system. Okay. Prefix. Oh, that's funny. A prefix with sphere or system. In this case, ecosphere or ecosystem. That's a, that's a nice pair of clues. Um, keeping with the doubled nature of this crossword uh, in, the, in, in a different way. And online initialism rarely meant literally. LOL, laughing out loud, indeed. I, I suspect an infinitesimally small percentage of, of the time this is used, it is being used literally. Alley-oop uh, is a basketball thing. Um, and then feature that helps to avoid late penalties is auto pay. Ah, right. Okay. For some reason, I kept thinking of returning library books and I couldn't think what sort of thing would automatically return a book for you. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of any other sort of late penalty, but that was the one that was in my head for some reason. To give in is to yield. Uh, but to believe this is us. Um, Milo? I don't know. It's a name. Recliner setting. Oh, duh, right. It's not a setting meaning a sort of um, you know, sort of way in which you set a recliner. It's a place one could find a recliner, a setting in which a recliner might be encountered. One's den. Okay. So break after a major fall, snow, so a major snowfall, snow break. Uh, this was Milo Ventimiglia. Okay. So that, that worked out fine. Love at the Louvre could be um, M. Je t'aime, I love you, and the Louvre being the famous um, museum in, in, in Paris where French is spoken, so it could be. Attention-grabbing protests. Um, Charlotte blank, capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, I know this. Charlotte. Oh, that's infuriating. It'll, it'll annoy me when I see it. Loudly chastise is rebuke. Break after a major fall. What is the, what, okay, I can't think what the break means here. I get that the major is a question mark means a pun and the major fall is a major snowfall. Snow. Oh, snow day. Is a break meaning a break from school, for instance? You, you're taking a break because there's been a major snowfall and school is canceled. Right, very clever clue. Loud, so loudly chastises, I suppose, to yell at. It's, it wasn't to re re rebuke. All right, that's interesting. This was fun, but I gotta go. It's been real. Um, and then attention-grabbing protests are... Probably ends with an S, ready to go link. Right, so this is something, I actually haven't seen this in the crossword in a while, but it does come up sometimes. And when you see this, this link, often with words hyphenated in this way, uh, it, what this is saying in a punny manner is what we're looking for is a word that is a link from ready to go. In other words, how do we get from ready to go? We could put set in the middle, ready, set, go. That's a link from ready to go. Tension grabbing protests are. Um, high standards established. Oh, right. Here's our revealer. High, established, high standards established by predecessor or what you are presented with in this puzzle. We are pres uh, shoes maybe goes here or oh shoes to fill big shoes to fill oh, that does fit 
tension grabbing project. Right, is it die-ins? That sounds incredibly bleak. What is a die-in? Charlotte Amelie, capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands. So what is this? Oh, actress Long, Nia Long. This is die-ins. Does that mean sort of via hunger strike or something? I'll have to look that up. I don't think I recognize the phrase immediately. Um, school whose mascot is Brutus Buckeye. Oh, Buckeye State. Is Ohio the Buckeye State? It's either Ohio or Iowa. Apologies to people from either state for that sentence. Is it OSU? Rated rides. Ubers. You rate, you could rate an Uber ride. Like heterochromia in eyes. Rare, I guess. Heterochromia. Is that a sort of two eyes of different colors? I'm wondering. Heterochromia, sort of, you know, mixed or multiple colors. Man of the open country in Genesis, Esau. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know the quote offhand, but I, I recognize the name Esau and it fits the, the space. French 101 verb être, which is to be in French, uh, which is indeed one of the very first verbs you learn in French. Makes a case again. If you, okay, so if, if she makes a case against him, she sues him. And turn downs are no's. You could turn someone down with a no. All right. Dear blank, main vacation destination. Dear Isle, I suppose. I don't know it myself, but it looks plausible. Future flower is... Hmm, not sure. Author, economist, Emily. And blank check, gut check. Does that help with... Oh, wait, no, this is... Sorry, this isn't future flower. This is future 122 across. And 122 across is future flower. Right, so is this an ovule which becomes a seed, maybe, which becomes a flower. ER line. Oh, right. Okay, yes. That, that, I do think that's probably right. Because ER lines are <clears throat> um, intravenous. Uh, you know, you give someone intravenous drip, a line, giving them some kind of serum. And that could be the case in an ER, in an emergency room. So I think that's right. We don't talk about that as a taboo. Of course, we double our T. So... So what is this one? Um, it's not foot, is it? You wouldn't say I'm wearing a pair of feet. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, flats. You, you're wearing flats. Okay, right. So there we go. And that's the opposite of heels. So heels, boots, clogs, and flats are big shoes to fill. There we go. All right. Very good. And those are high standards established by a predecessor or what represented with in this puzzle. Greek vowel, eta, except as losses, you eat losses. Yes, okay, that's probably right. Although, and actor Oliver, I don't know, Platt? Stop, I'm blushing. Oh, you flatter me. Right, okay, maybe this is Platt. Evening coffee order, a something latte, decaf latte. There we go, great, okay, good. Although, oops, um, gossips, y uh, yentas is a is a it's a Yiddish word I suppose for a uh, for a gossip, and then B to B E G is I don't know if this means point A to point B or if it means B to B meaning business to business commerce. Oh, no, it's neither of those. It's another musical clue dealing with a scale, as we had here with our G and the C scale. This is an octave. So if you're going from the note B to the note B, that's one octave, a full sort of um, iteration of a, a full kind of uh, length of one, one scale. Okay, the I in FIFA is, uh, that's, the, that's the international football Association. Oh, right. International. Okay. There we go. And um, is it the Federated International Football Association, maybe? And then uh, insult is a dis. 
Mages' accessories are staves, maybe. A mage, some kind of wizard, could have a staff. Plural staves. Alternative to a monthly charge is... Maybe it's not staves. Maybe it is staffs. Because then the alternative to a monthly charge could be an annual fee. Yes, it is. Okay. There we go. I was thinking of maybe I was thinking of musical staves. File menu option. Uh, save as. And then here we have it goes in and out. A fad goes in and out. It becomes popular and then fades away again. Although, unless, you might say, of course, with a double L, zero is none of something. Linguistic group, including Zulu and uh, Hosa, is uh, Bantu. Um, angles above 90 degrees are... They're... Obtuse angles? What are they? Silicon Valley, e.g. A tech hub. Crystal container is a geode. It's a, sort of a rock with that beautiful crystal inside. Pantomimes, perhaps, are acts, I suppose. You're putting on a pant not a pantomime in the in the in the British sense, although I guess you could sort of work with this, but more what it means is kind of a person is putting on a, a um you're pantomiming something, you're acting it. So angles above 90 degrees. Hot something? Does it mean 90 degrees Fahrenheit? Probably. That's what the question mark must be doing. Um, but what is the angles bit? I don't know what angles means in this context. Uh, shocked sounds. Gasps. Don't be shy, you might say. Boy, this doesn't help me. Angles of 90 degrees. What is that? Oh, hot yoga. You're making angles literally with your body and it's and it's hot. It's hot yoga. Wow. All right. Did not did not see that coming. Soup often made with rice vermicelli noodles is pho. And uh, diner caddy offering is uh, sugar, right? You could be in a diner and the, you could have a little caddy with condiments and salt, pepper and sugar, things like that. So hot yoga, and there we go. That was the Sunday crossword. Let's admire it. Oh, right. Look at that. We've had our big shoes replaced with, I suppose, big shoes. So right, that's I didn't actually even properly pick up on that until just now. The big shoes represent the fact that these shoes are taking up uh, double the number of cells that would ordinarily be required to spell those words. So uh, they are indeed big shoes to fill. We have the heel. So it's actually not even that we have. Right. So it's interesting. So the about two feet bit alludes to the kind of pre-completion version of this grid where we had two shoes, you know, we had these double shoes, but then the revealer big shoes to fill represents the part, the, the, the version in which they've been um, sort of consolidated into these larger cells. I wonder which one the, I wonder what the grid in the paper looked like. It must have looked like the original one, because otherwise, the, otherwise it would have already had the yeah it would have it would have already had the big, the big cells just now. I assume. Anyway, here we have our heel, our boot, our clog, and our flat. Those are four types of shoe, and they are big shoes to fill. Fill, and that was the crossword. And there we have it. That was the Sunday, um, Sunday crossword about two feet by Rebecca Goldstein and Raphael Musa. And uh, it was a good one, and it took me quite a while to solve. <laughs> and so it goes on Sunday sometimes. Uh, but because of that, I am I'm going to skip the clues from yesterday's puzzle today because I, I have to. I, I do not have the time at this point. But thank you so much for joining me on this Sunday edition of the Daily Solve, this big Sunday grid. Hope you enjoyed it. I will of course be back tomorrow with the Monday puzzle, a smaller, simpler, but still themed crossword. So do join me for that. But until then. Please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care.